What's up guys? So a new season and there's a new player of the week today, so let's get right into it. Uh starting off with Minta. Um he's fast, not great stats and his technical stats, and uh, not amazing skills, not too bad though. But uh I honestly can only play right wing, doesn't look that great. And even his pace, uh it's more in speed than acceleration, so uh he won't be able to beat uh players uh too effectively. He has got very high weak foot though, but uh still don't think he's anything uh, too special. Um, a Jackie, a goalkeeper, he's pretty tall, uh, mid-80s on the stats, not uh, terrible. Adley is an orchestrator. Uh, I actually use this guy a lot in the competitive mode uh, because he plays for AC Milan, who are usually one of the best uh, teams. So I have uh, quite a lot of experience with Adley, and he's uh, he's actually pretty good. Um, he's not usually an orchestrator, though. Uh, orchestrator would have suit him. Uh, I can see him... Nah, I, I can see it being okay, but in terms of like, you know, dream team with all these underrated players, I don't think he's going to be too good. Um, I think it was last week, Joe Neves got an orchestrator card and I was interested in him. He probably had better stats than this, uh, but when I actually used him, he wasn't effective. And I think it's, uh, looking at one stat here, I think it might be a similar reason to why I didn't like Neves, that this one doesn't interest me. It's the kick and power. Um, it's 82. Uh, it's not terribly low. Uh, Neves was like 76 or something, probably, I think. Uh, so 82 is close. I usually say 84 is the number that, you know, makes it start to be kind of good. So I guess it's not too far off that, but he won't be like... He won't be like an amazing uh, passer uh, with that low kick compare. And his curl isn't great too. He does have great skills though, you know, double touch, Marseille turn, cut behind, slow control. Long range, one touch, weight, true pass, weighted pass. They're all amazing. Outside curler uh, is pretty good. Not great curl though. And gamesmanship is good. Although the fouls in these, uh, this recent patch haven't been called as much. But, like he's not terrible. Um, I don't know if he'd get into my main team though. Uh, like that Wilshire card will definitely be a lot better than the one from the daily penalty game. Uh, Jenny Katamo. Um, this guy actually looks um, kind of interesting just because like he's got good dribbling. Um, he's got good finishing. And he's fast. So... I think he'd be best as a three in a three five two left or right. Um it's a shame though. He uh, he doesn't have much skills. Um he's got long range curler and he's got you know left uh a very high weak foot, so he's left and right foot. So if you're playing him on the left mid, right mid, uh either will work. But he doesn't have um doesn't have pinpoint crossing, so he'll be able to cut in well on either side with the very high weak foot, but uh going outside with the crosses uh won't be too effective. Then he doesn't have like true pass and a double touch to beat someone, yeah, anything like that. Um, so I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would use him, but uh, if you're new to the game, he might be useful uh, for kind of like tactical uh, versatility. All right, this card um, is the is it the first booster? Uh, yeah, first booster. Uh, Ward Prowse, whole player. So um, I know this guy. This looks interesting. Uh, Ninety. He'll have 101 set piece taken and 99 curl when you get into the game. Actually, no, I think he'll have higher because of the pep boost. Yeah, he'll have higher because of the pep boost. So this guy is all about free kicks and, you know, basically long range shots. So he looks pretty good. Um, he is a whole player though. Um, you know, people love the whole player play style. Uh, I, looking at this card, I don't think it'll be too good in terms of being a whole player. Um, and I'll tell you why. It's not because of his attacking awareness that's kind of low. It's because of his speed. So I did a review a couple of months ago of a whole player, player of the week, De Bruyne, who had good stats except for pace. And I know, I've also noticed this with, there's another whole player that's slow. I can't remember who it is. But there's anyway, there's two whole players I've used that aren't too fast. And they never make the runs I want them to make. And I think it's just the way uh, attacking AI is calculated in the game. I think the pace of the player is taken into account and if the game if it, if the player isn't fast enough to get the game doesn't like recognize the runs because they know they're not going to get there in time so i feel like um if you're going to use this board pros um he will be good but you might not be a traditional uh kind of whole player now i could be wrong <laughs> you know what i mean i could be wrong um the stats do look pretty good uh outside of that but um that's what i know is i use the brawn anyway um, his skills, he has got interceptions, so he'll be good at centre mid. 
um, doesn't have a double touch uh, or anything, and unfortunately doesn't have a, a soul control. I think a soul control on him would have been very good, but uh, what can you do? But uh, because there's interception and because of the lack of pace, I think he'd be better as a CMF than an AMF. So uh, if you're using them, probably you're probably prefer him as a CMF. Uh, Politano, um, he's got you know good pace split. Um, his dribbling isn't too good. Uh, he's got a decent level of finishing. It'll get to 85 in game. Uh, 84 is a number I like. You know when they start getting good. Play left wing, right wing. SS, uh, uh, right mid, yeah, he, he does look good. Um, he's got double touch and flip flap, but no uh, soul control, so that's annoying. And then he has long range curler, so that's lack of soul control is annoying. Uh, he has got acrobatic finishing though. Um, gains a chip, pinpoint crossing, but no true passing. Like, so, you know, there's some good, there's some bad. I honestly, you know, I, I wouldn't use him myself, but he's not he's not terrible. You know, he might be new to the game and he might be uh, a well winger for you, but um, the lack of uh, true passing, lack of Lack of soul control, excuse me. Yeah, that, that, that's the issue for me, basically. Um, Manzini, uh, Manzini looks very good. Um, you know, he'll have... Uh, he'll have, uh, you know, the tackle and aggression over 90. He'll be very quick into the tackle. He's pretty fast, 70 speeds, just above 70, actually. Uh, near 90s in the physicals. And then his skills, uh, interception, blocker, aerial. The only thing he's really missing is acrobatic clearance. Um... So yeah, I'm not going to spend too long on Mancini, I think he does look uh, very good. Um, Rico Lewis, uh, he's actually got decent stats, um, he's not very tall, the only problem is he can can't play CMF, can't play DMF. Uh, uh, so basically, as a DMF, this guy is only good if you play a tactic with two, with two DMFs, because a DMF, a sole DMF, as a box to box, Probably isn't that good. You're probably going to get caught out a lot. And then a soul DMF as a box to box that's 169 centimeters tall. They definitely don't do that. That's a that sounds like a recipe for disaster. So um, yeah, you're probably going to have to play him in a formation where you have two DMFs. But if you do, um, he should be fine. Um, I'd say he feels really nice in game, very nimble and stuff. Uh, and he's got decent skills. So he's got one touch pass, true pass, and interception for uh, DMF. There three of the most important skills uh, gamesmanship so if you know you're like i said you feel very nice in the ball uh for dribbling deep with them you know attacker trying to put pressure on you you dribble around the uh, might win a foul Um, he's got soul control for the knock-ons uh but he doesn't really have any like low off the pass or weighted pass so i don't think that'd be uh too useful on him um so yeah, it does look decent um I don't know if he'd be in my team, but uh, it's kind of like a, kind of like a rare player, I guess. We don't really have a DMF or an Kante. I think that would be that small, but I don't think most people have Kante, so might not be too bad. All right, Havertz, steep line forward. So I have the big time one. Um, so this is like uh, the free version, obviously. Um, looking at the stats, this one's definitely a lot slower. Um, I think. Uh, I don't know, he's got, he has got 85 pass, 86 finish, and so, you know, in technical stats, he actually looks really good, it's just uh, a little bit slower, so, uh, you know, he's actually, he's not too bad, and I think a bit weaker as well, um, in terms of skills, uh, he's got one touch pass, true passing, very good, acrobatic finishing, very good, long range career, long range shooting, very good, yeah, he's just missing um, a soul control or something for the knock on, but, uh, I think Havertz, uh, he, he looks decent, so I have a, he's a deep line forward, you know, maybe you don't, like deep line forward i have a video i'm working on that's analyzing how deep line forward plays so uh, if you want to uh you know understand better how deep line forward works uh, subscribe and that'll be out probably within a week um next player van de ven looks amazing wow look at those all 90 defensive stats remember you're gonna get the boost when you go in game great pace you know decent decent physicals um good defensive stat, uh, skills just uh, similar to, I think it was Mancini, or just missed snacker back clearance. Um, yeah, Van de Ven looks really good, and he can play left back, so uh, yeah, definitely looks good. Uh, Nico Williams, okay. Um, oh, okay, the very high weak foot makes this very interesting. So, similar to what was it, Katoma, when I said the very high weak foot, uh, it's basically the same story with Nico Williams, but Nico Williams might actually get into your team. So you got, uh, you know, 90 dribbling with that pace. He'll feel very fast on the ball. Um, and it's a booster. Okay, even better. 
Um, you know, uh, he'll get the 80 curling game. Uh, he'll miss out on the 80 finishing. That's that's one issue though. Um, his skills, he has got soul control, and so he can do the knock on. He's got true passing, double touch, Marseille turn, very good. Now, very high weak foot. Start him on the left, start him on the right, he'll cut in. Is that pinpoint crossing? No. But he can cut in, he's right foot. So he can start him on the left, cut in and shoot. Start him on the right, cut in and shoot. That's very good. Issue is, he's got outside corner. And, you know, uh, you know, you might think that's not an issue. You know, it's an extra skill, it's a good skill too. But when you have the knock on finesse, like he, this Nico Williams have knock on finesse capability. So he's on the left, he'll be able to cut in, do a knock on uh, and shoot, do a knock on finesse. Just fine from the left, but from the right, when he cuts in, doesn't knock on, doesn't matter if he's 40 yards out, he's going to attempt an outside curler and it will, it'll be a P-roller. It won't go far at all. So uh, yeah, that outside curler is a big issue. Kind of, <laughs> it kind of mitigates or, you know, nullifies a lot of the uh, benefit of the very high weak foot. So I'd be sticking him left mid or left wing. Um, how are, is his card built? Uh, looking at it without the booster, I'd say he kind of has to be a left mid just because he's so fast and doesn't quite have ball control and tight possession. But when he actually put the booster on him, he has ball control and tight possession. So uh, he looks uh, he, he looks pretty decent there. 